I don't know, I don't feel like I've really had my American experience yet, you know what I mean? Um, I'm young, so it's not big, but like, does that make sense? Like I go out a lot with my friends, um, or I mean like guys and stuff, and I'm working and trying to save up for my own place, like most people my age. So like, I, I don't think I can, like I can't really put a definitive pinpoint on like, yes, this is what it means to be an American to me. Um, like I'm sure when I'm when I'm married and I have a kid or two and oh I've always wanted to live in Connecticut like somewhere around there and then um like northeast somewhere yeah that is a dream a house in a really nice town like up in Westchester County with like maybe even a bit of property for like a pool or a guest house, you know, nothing fancy, just sort of how I grew up, you know, how I was raised is all. Um, yeah, I think I deserve that. I mean, at least that much, right? <laughs> because it's, it's our job to like build on that, like whatever our parents managed to do before us, like we build on top of that and then we make way for like, um, I don't know, like the next generation or whatever, like the next ones to come and um, to come around. I don't know, whatever, whatever it's called. Um, oh no, wait, that's me. I'm the next generation. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not gonna lie. It's been hard. It's been really hard. Like the second I got out of school, um, or like after my master's anyways, um, I had to get out there and land a job and it had nothing to do, like nothing to do with publishing at all. And I had to get up and go to work every day by nine, um, like five times a week. It's not easy. Like, thank God I don't have any like student loans or anything like, or like just crap like that. And, but still, you have rent, you have utilities, uh, like every month. And, and oh, the cable, it's crazy. Seriously, it's crazy. Um, but still, you know, I, I did it though. I did it and I just keep putting myself out there and meeting people and I try to stay positive. Um, you know, I whisper to myself every night, like I'm living the dream. <laughs> I'm living the dream that my folks had for me and that, you know, I, I share now like this, this belief that the world can be a better place, you know, where, where I don't have to worry about losing a bunch of money on stocks like my, my, my dad did, you know, or have to deal with wars going on all the time, which I, I, you know, I, I'm, I think a lot of those countries like are very ungrateful to us and everything that we've done. Like, I don't know. I'm I'm not a politician and I didn't go to school or like study any of this. So, but I think that we should just get out of there. Like the Middle East. Like I think we should just pull them out and leave them to it. Like we have enough problems going on in America. I know I do. I've got a lot going on in my own life. Like I am coming off my parents' health insurance in like 8 months. So, I've got like problems for 10 people. I don't need to be worrying about a war in Afghanistan or like I don't know, freedom in Syria or any of those, like welfare, any of those issues. I just, you know what? I I am on overload, okay? And and my dream right now, I, maybe that's my dream right now. My, I am dreaming of the day where I can just stop helping everyone else and just start living life for me and, and just, you know, I I run downstairs and get coffee all day and I'm, always the designated driver and I'm usually the ones trying to figure out all the separate checks at lunch you know so it's like when 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 can I just stop caring so much and just when can life be just a little bit more about me that's what I want to know soon. I hope. Pretty damn soon.